Hey there, welcome to your 8th C++ tutorial and in this video we're gonna learn about pre-increment and post-increment operators. Now what the heck are those things? Let's learn about them. Now first of all, let me go and add var++ here. So what will happen? Let's print it. And var... So as you guys, as you guys can guess, 5 will be incremented by 1 and the value of var will be 6. So it's six. Now, can we do thing like this? We just added plus plus after var. Can we add it before var? Let's check it out. Let's go. Oh my god, it works. So again, we got six. So no matter whatever we put plus plus before it or after it, it gets added to it. So it works. Let's also check it for minus minus. Let's do it, minus minus. Now if it works, then it should four be 4 uh, or increment or uh, decrement by 1. Let's run it. Oh my god, it works too. So the uh, no matter whatever we put the minus minus, it really works. Before it or after it. So what the difference between them? Let's check it out. Now suppose I Now suppose I increase the value of bar here. Suppose I add plus plus here. Let's now let's run it. So uh, as you guys can guess, what will be the output? Guess, guess, guess. I know you are. All of you are saying that this will be uh, six because this will be incremented by one. So let's take the answer. Oh my God, it's five. Now let's put it before it. And let's run it. Holy shit, now it becomes 6. What the heck is going on? Actually, this is called a pre increment operator. And this is called a post increment operator. Pre means before, and post means after. So, whenever we are using a post increment operator, so it will do the printing first and then it will increment. Okay. So it will increment later or post the operation. That is why it's called post increment. So that is why if we print the value of var in the next line, let's print it. And as you guys can see, first of all, it was five where we incremented it and it got incremented later and it became six later. So that is why it's called post increment. That means it does the operation first and increments it later. Okay, so first of all, it does whatever operation, here the operation is printing, so it did this, and then it just incremented it in the next statement. Okay, now let's try it with prefix, or pre-increment. Now whenever I use the pre-increment operator, it just gets incremented on the same line. So it first of all increments it, and then does the operation. So first of all, it gets incremented to by 1 to 6, and then it gets printed. So that is the difference between pre, uh, what is that? Pre-increment and post-increment. And it works the same for pre-decrement and post-decrement. Okay, so I hope you guys understood these things. Uh, not very complex, but first time when you're trying, uh, these things be, uh, seem complex. So if you have any questions, write those in comments and I will solve you. I will help you to learn this uh, in more in depth. So thank you very, very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe, like and share. I hope it helps. Thank you.